Hello, my Virgos. This is an ex reading to see if it's likely if you and your ex will come back together at some point. Um, and this is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs, guys. Of course, this reading is not going to resonate for everyone. I wish that it could, but please take what resonates for you and leave the rest right where it is, all right? So here we go with Virgo and their ex. What's going on? All right, guys, here we go. This is you. Hmm. And this is them. This is what you want what they want what you need what they need is anyone involved for you and for them all right so currently you're feeling very attached um you're feeling very attached to somebody or something okay and there is a strong need and desire for you to be able to let go okay I feel like you want to let go of something that you feel like is not right for you um, at this point. Not that you don't love it or them, I'm sure it's them, but you feel like it's not good for you, okay? You feel like it's not good for you. Um, I feel like, you know, the person that you are thinking about has always been a weak spot for you. This person has always been a weak spot for you. And <clears throat> there is a love there for this person that is unexplainable, I feel like, for you. And I feel like you also fight it, is what I'm getting. There is a fight within you because even though you know you love this person, I feel like um there is also an overwhelming feeling like this is not good for me okay now the individual that you're dealing with is there is definitely love there and i kind of feel like you guys are both um feeling the same way maybe not to the level of intensity um that you feel it as far as the negative um the negative i'm trying to think what what the right term is you you feel like there's attachment there that you know the situation is not good between the two of you so it's something that you need to let go you know it's there but you feel like it's not healthy. That's that's what I'm looking for. You feel like the love that is between the two of you is not healthy. And so you're really wanting to let that go. Um, because anything unhealthy, you don't want to be attached to it. All right? Now, this person feels the love. They feel the love between the two of you. You guys are... The thing is with the other person is they feel like you don't love them anymore. I'm getting that strongly. They're feeling like you don't share this cup with them. There's no two cups here. They feel like they still have love for you, but I feel like they think that, you know, your love for them is gone. All right. What you want is to, you know, you just want to end this misery, to start over again. I feel like to start over fresh and new on your side. You just want to start new. Okay? Um, and it could be that you want to start completely new with somebody else. Or you just want to start over with this person in a totally different, in a totally different atmosphere. Bring in totally different energy between the two of you. But this person is so defensive in the way that they see things that it's been very difficult between the two of you because you have to be able to compromise. I feel like this person does not compromise well. It's their way or the highway is what I feel. Okay, so what is needed on your side is to take a look at things for what they really are not just on 
their side but on yours as well because it takes two to tango right now granted somebody in a relationship may have done more negative things may have influenced the outcome in a more negative way than the other one but we each contribute something um, when there is a demise in the relationship all right so there is a need to really you know take inventory of everything to see things clearly okay to be enlightened here um, with the hanging man not you know be in a box and just can only point out what somebody else has done or contributed to the demise of the relationship now what this p person needs is to really take a good hard long look and realize that you are still there they feel like you don't share this couple up with them but you're still there but they need to let their defenses down. They need to not be complacent. They need to not um, think that their way is the highway and give notice. Give notice and take notice that there has to be an equal sharing of ideas in this relationship if it's going to prosper. Okay? <clears throat> Now, I'm going to hold both of these cards, uh, which, which I don't usually do, but no, look at that. Is someone else involved? You guys are looking right at each other. You're almost looking for them to come back. The Page of Swords is not speaking. You're not speaking. You're not reaching out to this person. Um, and I think you're not reaching out because you have it in your head that this person is probably not going to come towards you that they're probably not going to change and this person is holding on tight to their heart they are also holding on tight to the connection between the two of you hence that's why you feel this devil energy right there all right so you guys are holding on to each other thinking about each other it's just likely um i would say that if this comes together, if both of you are not on the same accord, this person realizing that, you know, they need to let their guard down, that they need to compromise with you, that their way is not the way, and you yourself realizing that things um, take accountability for whatever it is that you may be responsible for, only you know that, okay? Then there is a possibility that if this does come back, that somebody is going to leave again, okay? Somebody is going to leave again if things are not rectified before you actually do come back together, all right? So, <clears throat> My Virgos, that is what I have for you. Um, let's see what we got. We got Capricorn, Scorpio energy, Leo energy, Pisces here. Um, yeah, Aquarius here. But that's just the energy that I see present. Does not mean that it's any one of those signs, okay? Could be somebody that's just exhibiting that energy. All right, guys. So I'll be speaking with you soon. Bye now.